Hey guys, Terrell here. Today I am back with you guys for another video. Sorry it has been a long time for uh for me to publish a video. Just because I have school and stuff like that and going on. So yeah, by the way, let's get started. So I have three new amusement rides for my amusement park in my Lego City. So first of all, this is a set because but but it used to not have a motor, it used to have a little crank right here. But now I decided to motorize it. This is a Lego Spongebob set that my brother got one time for his birthday party and stuff like that. It, it, I'll show you how, how that works. Uh, uh, after I'm done explaining the rides. So over here we also have another ride. Here's a swing ship looking ride. I got this idea from another YouTuber, but... Because I was trying to make some amusement park rides and send me buying the fairground mixer and the Ferris wheel from 2014-2015. Uh, I also don't want to buy the Grand Carousel because that's I think that's already sold out because that came out in 2008. And it's already sold out by the way. So that's the swing ship. And here is a... I don't know what you call this. If you, I don't know what you call this, but if you know what you got, what it, what these are called, then comment that in the script. Comment that in the comment section below. Here is the. It actually holds many figures. Like how they hold them is like they're stuck to these little pegs right here, which are connected to the back of it. I may show you that in my Lego, in my second Lego City update when I have the amusement park done. And the swing ship is just basically a thing that goes back and forth. I forgot to explain that. Yeah. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start use the remote control from Power Functions. So, I'm going to start controlling it. Nope, wrong way. So, here are all of them in action. I have to have them at this certain speed because if I go too fast, then the swing ship could probably break. The the thing could, the, the fighter thing over there could just mess up. The, or the, maybe the Ferris wheel could do track, but I don't think that'll happen to the Ferris wheel. When Spongebob, Patrick, and Sandy are on the Ferris wheel over here. So, I'm going to stop the motor real quick. If you guys don't know how the swing ship works, uh, I'll explain it to you. So, basically this M motor is just receiving this. Which gear is going over here, turning this way. Which, the this part over here is going this way, which pushes this. And then this moves side to side like that. And which this 24th tooth gear right here, which this 2 times 2 white brick is connected to the holes of the 24th tooth gear. And then I usually, and this is an old boat right here from a 1990 or 1980 series. I think this is a little like from Lego Pirates. Or Lego Castle, I think. So this, this is pretty much old. So, yeah. And I just connected this right here to that, which does look like a good yeah. If you don't know about that, then yeah. So, anyways, guys, this is my new amusement park update. This is all my rides I'm gonna be having. I may add some more rides. I don't think I'm. I don't know if I am with all these parts right here. They're laying right here. I think it may add some more rides into my Lego City, but I don't know. Who knows? Okay. So, anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this video, and you, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video when I have the Lego City update, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what my next video is going to be. I just don't. Okay. Please like, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video, and yeah. Peace.